We've got incredibly talented children here at Redham Household Fontaine and they're such a joy to work with and bring out the best of them. That is what I aim to do. Well, it's, it's quite an extensive vocal score that we need to prepare them with, so their voices have to be prepared um, for every session, which is about, I think we did like seven-hour practice session. We do a lot of fun romers, like... <laughs> but it's really nice, it actually really helps. Like, for me, the warm-ups were, like, so strange, because, like, you feel like such an idiot when you're doing, like... <laughs> But like, and then, but like, it really helps your voice. Like, you can really feel your vocal range like uh, increase after you've done all these warm ups. It's been such an amazing experience to be able to share this wonderful journey with my, my little sister here. <laughs> And yeah, I, I mean, it's, I would have never been able to do this at any other school. It can get irritating at times, <laughs> we can annoy each, annoy each other, but at the end of the day, we're just so grateful to be together in this play. Yeah. yeah. Those poor unfortunate souls. So sad, so true. Well, it looks easy, but like, it's actually not easy. It's kind of hard to like get in sync with Ursula and like make sure we are moving fluid. That it, like, it doesn't look static and then we breathe and it looks alive instead of just people around another person. Like most of the people make fun of us, like, like oh, you're a tentacle, haha, but it's actually like not it's a lot as of easy pain. as they think it is. Transforming into Ursula was a very, it took, it took a long time. Uh, about the makeup takes about two hours to get on and I've n never ever in my entire life gone through anything like this. I mean, from the foundation to the eyelashes to the glitter. And it's all thanks to Shida, our makeup artist. She really just is amazing at what she does. We have this gray, the silver gray, completely crazy hairstyle and we literally look like David Bowie. Deceased we have like grey, silver mullets and it's actually really mullets. cool. Mullets. Mullets, I'm sorry! <laughs> yeah, they mullets. Yeah, they're quite <laughs> ugly. Yeah, they're, like, they're quite ugly but it does suit our character very well. Mm. So It gives like sort of like an electric vibe. Now, a few pointers from a clever crab to a little mermaid. First, you gotta bat your eyes like this. Then you gotta pucker your lips like this. Oh, that's good. Put those two together and you got that boy in the bum of her hand. Let's go. <laughs> I got the Jamaican accent from like watching a lot of Jamaican shows. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you, like you know, like, shows? like uh, Rasta Mouse and, oh no, Rasta a Rat and like, yeah, some yeah. others. Sha <laughs> la 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 la, my oh my, look at the boy too shy, ain't gonna kiss the girl. Um, so Dave and I started off with quite difficult um, choreography when we were busy playing and figuring everything out. And then, yeah, we just basically do it with the kids. You teach them, you know, baby steps. And then if you find that they're really not coping, we made it a little bit easier. Um, but then, you know, our more advanced dancers we were like, okay, we can take it up a notch. And then, yeah, we taught them the more advanced skills. Um, but yeah, I found times in break times, after school, whenever it was to, to help out our dancers. One of the most beautiful little girls that I've worked with, she's a talented, one of our most talented students here, little Fudzai. She comes in and she wasn't well at all. And I spoke to her honestly and I said, Fadzai, do you think you can do this? And she said, no, not this afternoon, maybe tonight. So I thought, okay, let me go and see and what I can do. And I went and I quickly learned the song, Les Poissons. <laughs> Was a cleaver I had them into. 
I pull out what's inside and I serve the fright. God, I love little fishies, don't you? I was so shocked. I actually thought it was going to be like... <laughs> so um, he pretty much knows all the lines in for all the scenes. So for him, it wasn't really a thing of having to learn the lines, but just practice the choreography. I know he's a drama teacher because drama is his life, but like, it's nice to see him when he's actually in his like zone. It's been a mm. long experience, but it's been a really, really fun yeah, one. We got close you know, with people we would normally people. talk to. Yeah, we got very close with a lot mm. of people. Yeah. I'm going to be really sad when everything's done. Yeah. yeah, me too. So we've really grown close together, like the younger grades and the older grades, all just meshing as one family. We've learned to be patient with one another and really support one another when it comes to these things. And really just give us energy and support so we feed off each other's energy. Thank you to everyone. Thank you for being such amazing actors, dancers and singers and for being friends and supporting each other. I think thank you for that. For being able to come in rehearsal and be a group, supporting each other, having love for each other. I think I'm just so grateful that I could be working with such truly amazing people. I want you to take this experience and hold on to it because this is an important thing in terms of development of you as a human being. You've been brave, you've stood up in front of people and you've showed them what you made out of. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do something and be disciplined to something. If you're going to commit to something, commit to it wholeheartedly and show everyone what you're made of. That's what I'm talking about.